So biotechnology, how do you, um, how do genetic techniques affect Earth's biodiversity? So what are social implications and ethical issues of biotech? What are the future directions and what are potential benefits um, to society? What are the possible changes to the Earth's biodiversity due to genetic changes? Okay, so what is biotechnology? Well, biotechnology, we look at, it's this whole branch of science that uses an application. It's used in medicine, industry, food, energy, environmental sciences, and computation. So um, according to the UN Convention on Biological Diversity, biotechnology can be described as any technological application that uses biological systems, living organisms, or derivatives thereof to make or modify products or processes for specific uses. So we come across by um, applications of biotechnology every day, right? In medicine, in the food that we eat, um, you know, and in, in, and in different industries, in the energy that we use. So simply technology that is based on biology. So medical biotech, we look at pharmaceuticals, you know, they, them producing vaccines, antibiotics, stem cell treatments like skin grafts, treatment of cancers and immune systems, bio-inspired materials like spray on skin, um, and diagnostics like biosensors. Industrial biotech, so enzyme biotechnology, improving efficiency of industrial processes, biodegradable plastics like biopolymers derived from plants and bacteria, energy sources like biofuels um, and photosynthesis, a lot of research surrounding that. Um, and finally, environmental biotech. So we look at bioremediation, so development of microorganisms that are able to clean up pollution. So there's been um, scientific research around algae being able to do that and algae, algae, algae being, um, algae, oh my goodness, algae being converted to like um, energy as well. There is also agricultural biotechnology, so genetically modified organisms to better suit changing environments. So a good example of that, I think we get to it, but like um, Cavendish bananas, research them, they're quite interesting because um, they have been modified to, so that they can um, avoid a specific type of disease that is popular in bananas, but um, because they're, all the bananas around the world, Cavendish bananas are the same, that reduces biodiversity, so now they're more um, susceptible to that disease. So positives, they meet the growing needs of society. We've got a growing population, so you know, um, so it's about meeting the development goals like ending poverty and hunger, clean energy, sustainable cities. It harnesses biological tools to invent new creative solutions. Um, so create, so, and then also it affects uh, genetic diversity, creates new arrangements of genes, new allele combinations. Um, it allows organisms to adapt to their environment. And, you know, it's about that uh, ultimately contributes the, to that big idea of evolution. Open source information, so creation of public databases allows for the growing amount of biological knowledge to be shared in a democratic fashion. Concerns here are ownership, right? So should people or corporations be able to own biological information? There may be economic benefits to allow monopolies over biological processes. Um, intellectual properties con property constraints may become prohibitive to progress you know where is that line between natural and synthetic there's a huge debate about the food that we eat you know um is anything pure anymore right commercial implementation so biotech monopoly so companies being able to exploit this information um and you know being able to use that to gain market control consumer rights and choices um gen not everyone wants to eat gmos genetically modified sorry uh, genetically modified food no so not everyone wants to consume them. So there's that choice um, and regulation. So can government, uh, can governments, can they strike that balance between safety and innovation? And of course, biohacking as a result of this, um, you know, wide variety of information. So future directions, continual improvement and refinement of current technologies, creation of novel approaches to emerging issues, um, Backyard biotech, synthetic biology, interdisciplinary approach. It's about you know engineering, engineering um approach to biological tools. Combines molecular biology, genetics, biophysics, and it's about you know questioning how can we break our knowledge of biology into parts that are then um that can then be refined and you know invented. Um, and it's driven by student-led competitions. So gem. And you can see where you know we're giving students the um the rein to go ahead and being able to work with these and being able to work with synthetic biology. So what are the effects of biotechnology on um biodiversity? So 
Positives, cops may be uh, cops may be um, insect resistant, right? They don't, so we may not be able to, so we don't have to use chemicals anymore. Cops may have increased stress resistance and productivity, so that obviously maximizes use of restricted land, grow grow vegetate uh, vegetation where there are harsh environmental pressures and deliberate introduction of variation. But there are also negatives, right? So ability for GM cops to outcompete. Establishment of monoculturing practices. So that's an example where I was talking about caramel dish bananas where we've just got that one specific um, type that's going to affect the biodiversity of the species. Horizontal gene transfer into native ecosystems and competitive advantage may lead to loss of naturally occurring alleles and variation. Um, evaluation, so agricultural practices driven primarily by short-term profit, um, they have always posed a threat to biodiversity and biotechnology gives us tools to enact this at a more rapid pace on a more fundamental level. Biotech also has the potential to help the agricultural in industry, you know, especially with a shift from urban um especially with a shift from rural towns to urban areas, um, but it needs to be used wisely. Okay. So there's a practice question. We, I, we won't have time for this. So I'm going to skip it, but definitely come back to these slides. Have a look at them. I'm going to skip, skip ahead because we've still got a bit to go um, and time's kind of running out. So bear with me as I go through it. Please pop up questions. Remember, the recording will always be available to you in case you do have to leave sharp at six. Um, but I'm going to try and get through this and also answer some of your most burning questions. Please ask them. Um, so practice question uh okay so that is not a practice question sorry about the heading but so specific biotechnology genetically modified organisms so when we um look at this you kind of have to consider both the pros and the cons utilitarian ethics play a huge role in it right gmos can be used for the good of good of society for instance insect resistance forest re uh, sorry frost resistance um and you know it can be used to feed a lot more people taking into account a growing population but of course there are concerns um with these technologies right there's a concern um about the creation of monocultures um horizontal gene transfer environmental impact so the essential question is does the good outweigh the impact and there is also a question of the balance and the needs also can it be managed rationally you know is there a point where it sort of gets out of hand and you would see lots and lots of um scientific uh sci-fi movies that sort of show you you know the dark side of it so um and and that's something to think about right so with that we also have precautionary principle like if there exists any potential threat of harm the technology should not be implement implemented companies should prove that there's no significant risk in that product for example it should be demonstrated that the technology will not cause environmental impacts um and this is significant considering the high stakes in biotechnology where you know risk um of significant change to the environment will have impacts on a fundamental level so summary what do you think what are your um what are your points here so